What is happening everyone, I'm BA, back again with another reaction video and I was thinking I'm going to start reacting to a TV series so I was like which one should I pick and one of my favourites of all time is Tales from the Crypt even though I haven't seen even half of it. For some reason I rate that show so highly but back when I was watching it I dotted in and out of episodes, I was really busy and distracted with other things and I never actually got round to watching it properly. So even though this does say first time watching, there will actually be episodes which I have seen before but they'll all be very vague to me now and I probably won't remember most of what I had seen because it's been a while. So uh, it's one of the best old school horror shows, it's when horror was fun and a bit cheesy but uh, not meant to be grim or fucking depressing or gratuitously gory for any other reason than like having, a, having fun with it, not to make you like sick to your stomach. So it's a classic show and what's, it, what's uh, even more mad about Tales from the Crypt, if I continue reacting to this series, you will see so many famous, famous, famous celebrities popping up in, in uh, guest actor appearances and directorial roles all over the place. It's just star studied for some reason back then. Every big actor wanted to have a little Tales from the Crypt episode on their resume and because of that it's aged like a fine wine because every few episodes you're like holy shit it's this guy. So I think I've introduced it long enough for those that don't know about it. So without further ado, episode 1 of Tales from the Crypt which I believe is titled The Man Who Was Death. Let's go. Our story is about a man with nobler ambitions. He likes to kill human pests. Love these Crypt Keeper intros. Gotta let the man speak. Gotta remain silent for the Crypt Keeper. So straight away, I don't remember this. Like, I'm assuming this first episode takes place in a prison or some sort of mental asylum or something, but for the life of me, I do not remember this at all. So this seems already like it's, like, brand new to me. I guess right about now, Charlie Ledbetter's starting to think pretty serious about that valley of death. Wondering if he's going to crap all over himself when I juice him in a couple minutes. He will. He's seen it before. He knows people shit themselves thoroughly when they when they get killed. <laughs> He's probably the one that has to mop up the shit. Nice thing about electricity is it's clean. Of course, I have seen a few heads smoke after it's all over. This guy is an absolute scientist in the ways of electrocuting human beings. I mean, if you can get paid for it. People tell me most executioners never look the prisoners in the eye. Afraid they're gonna get spooked or something? Not me. I always look. This dude is uh, more fucked up than the people he is executing. Now you all ready? <laughs> this actor looks legit fucking terrified, man. <laughs> Poor guy. I've been the executioner in this state for the last 12 years. When I got here from Oklahoma, I caught on as an electrician and after a while, I got a job out to the prison, taking care of the generators. So his electricity knowledge brought him to electrocuting humans. He got to work your way up the ladder as, a, as an electrician. Some lethal injection? I don't take to that. That's how you kill a dog or a cat or something, not a man. It's got to be the old electric chair for me. At least he's a man of principle, a man of culture. I'm terribly sorry, Niles. Hey, listen, it wasn't your fault. Nothing you can do. Well, if you'd like, I can write you a letter of recommendation. I'd like to read that letter. I guess this ain't the kind of work they give you a gold watch for, is it? No, it's not, bro. You're a fucking murderer with a badge. Maybe you usually want to talk to me about my job. I guess I'll say my ex-job. He really loved his job. And the commentator is saying how... If they televised executions, the whole country would just stop the death penalty. Let me tell you something. They put executions on TV, be the fucking highest rated show of all time. Sadly, he's not far from the truth there. I find that the warrant for arrest has been improperly worded. I'm afraid I must rule that there are no grounds on which to prosecute James Flood. 
You absolute incompetent cunts. My, my man with the most gratuitous celebration I've ever seen. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, that's all right then. Now, he went way out of line. And he ought to pay. Okay, so he's going to catch up with this guy that got let off for free, I take it. And personally electrocute him. A vigilante executioner. It's a new ideal. Caught him on the gate. It's only the minorities that get the chair. Did you ever notice that? And they're all pretty dark when I get done with them, Vic. <laughs> Fucking hell. These two have some very subtle racist conversations, you know. And even though the guy's a fucked up character, his monologue's like well written. Not that I agree with it, just that it's good. The defendants have been found innocent of all charges and are free to resume their private lives. This court is adjourned. That judge had the most epic voice of all time. <laughs> They're not getting away with it that easily. Well, I gotta say this for old Carney. If you don't do it, make sure she's worth doing it for. And this girl of his is awful pretty. I wouldn't stay too close to that tub when there's electricity around my friend. And I sentence you to death. That sentence to be carried out immediately. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. It's all Ted's idea. I didn't know he'd really go through with Shut it. Shut up. I, I, I gotta go. Throwing him under the bus. I wonder how you're gonna dance when I put 10,000 volts through your ass. Fucking hell. Quite fast and jittery, I would imagine. Ah! What the fuck is this thing he's got now? Go, honey. It's your time. Goddamn hell is going on here. Some electrician, mate. Mr. Talbot, you are under arrest. Technically, at least now he gets to give himself the electric chair. Maybe they'll let him flip the switch for old time's sake. Since you're such a staunch supporter of capital punishment, you'll be glad to know the state legislature has just reinstated the death penalty. Oh, he's not getting the switch. Come on, I'm telling you, the government's gonna call! He knows what I've done for him! He knows that old rap! That old chestnut, yeah. The governor's gonna call. The governor's gonna call you a cunt. All I did was stuff you want to chicken shit to do yourself! You miserable chicken shit bastard! This guy is remorseless. Bl blaze of glory. It's not quite as fun on the other side of it, is it, mate? That's why I did it, because it's my job. If a man ain't fit at his job, then what the hell is he good for? That is no excuse for evil. A lot of people have jobs they shouldn't be in, and they can't use the excuse, I'm just doing my job. I told him, don't worry. The governor gonna call. The governor did in fact not call. Okay, so that was episode one of Tales from the Crypt. Uh, I will be back in just a minute with my thoughts on that. So, I love Tales from the Crypt for the exact same reason. I love Twilight Zone and all these other uh, things that don't follow a continuous story, really. Generally, sci-fi or horror, anthology series, they're called. They don't have the same cast from episode to episode and they don't follow a story from episode to episode. But what makes these shows so great is you never know what you're going to get every episode. Or who you're going to get. Or who's going to direct it. You just, especially if you go in blind, you just have no idea what you're going to be, be met with. And I don't even think I've seen this episode before. I thought the concept was very, very clever and unique. Uh, really, really dope little story idea. You can tell that the 
that idea was thought of before the script itself was fleshed out. Just like, what about an execution or they cancel, they bring in um, making capital punishment illegal? How does he react to that? And what if he still kept continuing trying to kill people after that? And then they probably wrote the script just off of that premise because it's such a dope premise. Uh, I've seen that actor in many things, but I forget his name. He put in a great performance as the guy. A dislikable character, obviously, but all his dialogue was so well written. He just he was justified in his actions to himself. Everything he said was him justifying why he was the way he was and why he was killing these people. He felt he was 100% righteous in his actions and uh, he didn't lose a wink of sleep over anything he'd done. It was a good performance. Obviously... Nobody in a Tales from the Crypt episode generally is trying to win an Oscar. They're trying to make these performances entertaining, almost somewhat theatrical, in comparison to modern films and horrors where everything's really subtle. Side note, the Crypt Keeper puppet is so dope. I love practical effects and um, I think CGI is taking over cinema way too frequently nowadays especially sometimes I look at something and I, think, and I think to myself they could have made a puppet for that or an animatronic or they could have done several other things before they decided to just conjure it up on a computer and it looks slightly plasticky and you know it's not really there and it's like watching a video game cutscene I'm not a fan of films that do that generally uh, Tales from the Crypt does none of that Everything's a practical effect. Everything is a on on set location. Everything is a location or a set. There is no CGI backgrounds. The Crypt Keeper is a puppet. It's a dope puppet. Every uh, the Crypt. I always thought the Crypt Keeper's mansion at the start sort of looks like a a Halloween attraction or something. In a good way, man. You could just imagine that exact set being a like Disneyland or something. It's dope. So Tales from the Crypt. I'm a huge fan of the series in general, but I thought that specific episode was a great first episode and a great way to kick off the first series. So, if you guys would like to see me react to more episodes from Tales from the Crypt, the original series, uh, leave a comment below, hit like this video, share it around, try and help build the channel, and let me know if there's anything else you would like me to see as well in the comments. And if I haven't seen it, I'm up for watching it. So, until next time, I am BA. Peace.